So it's better to be able to have that resilience, to be able to try again, to try again, get that failure done, get it out of the way fast. If I could guarantee that whatever invention idea you might have, you were gonna fail 10 times, but the 11th time was a guaranteed million dollar success, how fast do you get those first 10 out of the way? If I push people together, there's a resistance. It's, it's even metaphorically, it's a negative process. If I put my hand out and I ask for people to join me, you don't have to, I'm not, there's no threatening thing there. If you're being safe, you're in safe territory, you're not doing anything new, if you're not doing anything new, you're not very innovative. If you're actually exploring new territory, right, Christopher Columbus going off to, you know, destroy the American culture that was there before, there was no maps. If you don't know where you're going, a compass is useful. A map means somebody else has already been there. Work on practice versus theory, it's better to actually know that something works than understand why. Better to be judged by 12 and carried by six. I'd rather try something and get punished for it than have to ask for permission for everything that you do and always get a no. Uh, focus on learning, not education. Someone who's always learning is always a student and they're always progressing forward. Someone who's about education is a master. They're just telling you what they already know and therefore they're getting themselves into a place of not learning and meaning they're irrelevant. Um, make meaning, not knowledge. So a lot of the times the question always comes up, why, why, why? Just try and throw it back, why not? Why not here, why not now, why not do this stuff? 